So in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing Velocity's updated free tweaking utility that will be able to boost your FPS, lower your latency, and give you overall smoother gameplay. But before we start, our free utility is only a fraction of what our premium utility can do for your PC, which is why I encourage you to check out VelocityTweaks.com. We have over 500 plus tweaks and over 400 reviews on both our Discord and website. So if the free utility helped you and you want to fully unlock the potential of your PC now, make sure you check out VelocityTweaks.com. Now let's get started. So the first step would be downloading the actual tool that we'll be using today. And to get it, you're going to be joining our Discord server. You can either click the search tab on your browser and type in discord.gg slash velocity or click the link in the description. Once you've joined the Discord, you're going to want to go to the bottom left where it says free utility and you're going to see Velocity's updated free tweaking utility version 1.1.0. So just go ahead and download it. Now because of the tweaking utility isn't commonly downloaded, some browsers may try to warn you saying that it's a virus, but it's completely open source and doesn't have anything malicious. If you're still worried about security issues and you're not entirely sure, you can either run it through VirusTotal or check out the code yourself. Or you're just going to want to click the three dots and then click key. Next thing we're going to do is download an administrator tool that makes sure that all the tweaks apply correctly. So in your browser, you're going to want to type in Power Run and download Power Run from the Swordum website. There will also be a link in the description. Once the two tools are downloaded, you're going to want to open the Power Run file and drag it to your desktop. Then drag the Velocity Free Tweaking Utility into the same folder. Then once you've done that, open the folder, open Power Run. Windows may protect your PC for this, but I can assure you that it's completely safe. So click more info and then run anyway. Click on file and then allow command lines. Then close it out. Then what you're gonna wanna do is drag Velocity's free tweaking utility onto Power Run. Then click more info and run anyway. Now for the first step, we're gonna be making a restore point. This is for just in case anything does go wrong, you'll be able to go back to the original version of Windows you were on before the tweaks. So click zero and enter. Now next up is some general tweaks. Press one and enter to optimize Windows OS settings, improve appearance, audio settings, and reduce latency. These tweaks will help your PC run more smoothly by optimizing basic settings that impact performance. Now let's do some Windows specific tweaks. Press 2 and enter to disable game mode, hardware acceleration, and performance settings. This will help increase FPS and reduce latency by disabling unnecessary Windows features. Next up is some USB hub tweaks. So press 3 and enter to reduce latency from peripherals like your mouse, keyboard, and controller. This tweak ensures that your input devices will respond more quickly. Now for CPU tweaks, press 4 and enter and select your CPU manufacturer. What this is going to do is create a personalized power plan for your CPU. So since I'm on Intel, I'm going to be doing 1 and enter, but if you're on an AMD CPU, you're going to want to click 2 and enter. And once you're back on this screen, you're going to want to click 3 and enter to do normal CPU tweaks. Both these settings will optimize your CPU settings and remove bottlenecking. It helps unlock the full potential of your CPU, ensuring that it runs as efficiently as possible. And once you're done with both those steps, click 4 and enter to go back to the main menu. Now for some input delay tweaks, so click 5 and enter. This tweak ensures the lowest possible latency for a more responsive gaming experience. Lower input delay means that your actions in-game will feel more immediate and precise. Now time for the GPU tweaks. Click 6 and enter, and you're once again going to want to select your GPU manufacturer of choice. I have Nvidia, so I'm going to click 1 and enter, but again, if you have AMD, click 2 and enter. This tweak will optimize your GPU driver settings for better gaming performance. It will help your graphics card run more efficiently, giving you better visuals and smoother gameplay. Now for memory tweaks, click 7 and enter, and it's going to ask for how much gigabytes of RAM that you have. I have 48 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm going to type in 48, but if you have a different number like 16 or even 32, then you're going to want to type that number in instead. So once you have, just click enter. This step optimizes your memory settings for better performance, ensuring that your system can handle more tasks simultaneously without slowing down. Second to last is the storage tweaks, so click 8 and enter. And you're going to want to select your main drive that you have Windows installed on and then click Optimize. This tweak speeds up boot times and game loading times, making your system more responsive. Faster storage means everything loads quicker, from your operating system to your favorite games. And once it's done, you can just click Close. And finally, we have the debloating tweaks. So just click 9 and Enter. This will remove all bloatware that comes pre-installed with Windows 10 and 11. It will help keep your PC lean and efficient by getting rid of unwanted software that can slow you down. And once it closes automatically, you're officially done. And all that's left to do is hit your Windows key and restart your PC to enjoy the performance boost. If you found the free utility helpful, imagine how much more our premium utility can do for your PC. It's incredibly affordable and offers even more advanced optimizations. So if you're truly interested in getting the most out of your system, make sure you check out VelocityTweaks.com. But that's going to be it for the video. Make sure to drop a like, 
subscribe with notifications so you never miss another tutorial like this, and comment down below if this truly helped you. Have a great day, guys.